all you all and welcome. Today we'll be looking at my process for making lithophanes using Blender 3D software. This process is not unique to me and many folks use it to make their own lithos, but this is how I do it. One big difference for most is I like printing flat versus upright. It is definitely personal preference. The downside of printing this way is you have a more pronounced layer line, but I believe you get more contrast from the images using this method. And it works with the custom litho display storage stand I made. Printing vertically does give you more print options, like curved, cylindrical, spherical, etc. But my display stand only takes flat prints, so not an option I need. Again, my personal preference. I have printed dozens of lithos and only a very tiny fraction did not work. Unlike height maps, you don't care about the precise E data. They still represent several hours of print time and filament, so they should be either fun or special. For example, this AI generated frog image. And with a little graphics magic, I made him into an old timey Texas Ranger. Add ons enabled, mesh, F2, import export, STL format. Let's open up Blender, delete the default cube, add a plane. Hit tab to enter edit mode, right click and select subdivide. In the subdivide panel, enter 100 in the numbers of cuts box and hit enter. Hit tab again and go into object mode. In the textures properties tab on the right, open the image where we have it saved. In the modifiers properties, add subdivision surface modifier. Next add displacement modifier and change mid level to zero. Go to the checkerboard box and select the texture of your image. Change the strength to minus 0 0.06. Change the subdivision levels viewport to 3 and the render level to 3. Hit 1 on the numbers keypad to go to the Y axis view. Move the model above the zero axis. I personally use the Convert to Mesh to apply all the modifiers. Hit Tab to enter edit mode. Hit E to extrude and pull the geometry down. Hit S to resize and then Z and then hit 0. With the geometry still selected, hit X and delete faces. Select the edge perimeter by hitting Alt and left clicking the edge. Next, hit F to fill in the perimeter. I do this to reduce the size of the model. Move the base layer down. You want to ensure you have enough thickness for at least a couple of layers of filament. Hit Tab to go back into object mode. In the item tab, change the dimensions to whatever you need. In my case, my litho display box is designed for a 6x6 six six inch panel. I have found the depth of lithos between 1 16th and 1 8th work pretty good for me, but they can definitely go thicker. At this point, the geometry is ready for export as an STL for my 3D printer software. In the 3D printer software, I have a Bamboo P1P. Load your STL file. I use a layer height of 0.1 millimeters and initial layer height of 0.1 millimeters and infill to 100%.
Send to your printer. And in a couple of hours, you have a little thing.